guys, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing the review of the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. This is new from Maybelline. Um, I found mine at Ulta. It was, I believe, $8.99. It was in the range of $8.99 to $10.99. I'll look it up and I'll put the price like right here so you guys know exactly. Um, when I went to Ulta, it was buy one, get one 50% off of any Maybelline product. I ended up not getting another Maybelline product, but it was, um, it was that kind of sale going on at the time. I like to shop at Ulta because they do have those kind of sales a lot. Plus you can use your $3.50 off of a $10 purchase um, at Ulta, which is awesome. So the price point is very nice. It is a glass bottle and it's almost shaped like a nail polish. Um, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I suppose they did it to kind of like be a little bit different. To me it's like really, I mean, whatever. It's, it's glass, which is not the most friendly to travel with and um, the, the nice thing about this versus the L'Oreal one, which I will show you. Here's the difference between the L'Oreal, and basically these are almost the exact same product. Um, slight variations, but they're kind of the same kind, kind of thing. You know, so this is the L'Oreal one versus the Maybelline. So um, this one actually takes up a lot less room inside of your makeup bag because it is that kind of more sleek design. Um, and I'm assuming that's why they kind of went with this because they didn't want to like copy like L'Oreal exactly, but there you can see uh, what both of them look like. I will say that the Magic Nude, not that I'm reviewing this, but this is a lot more liquidy than this one and I like the application, the way this one comes out a lot better. I'm just going to show you the L'Oreal just so you guys have a, um, a kind of versus. So that one, it just is this tiny little hole and it takes so long to get out. It's like seriously very irritating and it's it's just a mess. Whereas this one has this little doodad. So it's got like this little kind of strange, um, almost like a tear shaped uh, kind of thing at the bottom. Um, and then because it's got the stick, you do get a lot more product out by putting it on the stick and then wiping it. So what I do, you can either wipe it directly onto your face, which I wouldn't recommend just because if you do have any breakouts or you have any kind of um, bacteria, it will get onto the wand and then you'll put it back in and it's probably just not the best idea. So what I do is make sure I put it onto the back of my clean hand. So I'll just take it like this and then just smear it right onto my hand like that. So I do like the fact, if we are kind of comparing it to this one, this is a much kind of, um, consumer friendly, uh, tidier way to distribute the product. Um, I feel like it just is much, it's just much easier to use that way. And you do get a lot more product out. Um, because it is such a liquidy formula, you do have to use quite a lot of product for this to, um, it, it kind of, if, especially if you use your beauty blender, it soaks up really, really quickly because it is so liquidy. So keep that in mind. Um, I would say this is definitely a medium buildable coverage. You could probably wear it really, really sheer if you're someone who has really nice skin naturally, or you can just apply kind of like a normal, like one coat and then you'll have medium coverage. If you do need a little bit fuller coverage, I wouldn't say this go, goes all the way up to like full, amazing, flawless. It was just, it's definitely a medium buildable. You can add a little bit more coverage to the places that you need, but it's not going to completely like mask and like completely cover and make everything flawless. You will still be able to see like a couple of little, you know, blemishes or kind of discoloration peeking through. Um, so that's kind of a downside for me is just because I do have a lot of stuff to cover on my face. So um, I do like a little bit more fuller coverage. This does have SPF 20 by the way, just in case you are wondering. Um, I got the color 60 Sandy Beige and I feel like it's a really good match. Um, I, I haven't self tanned for probably about a week. So my self tanner is kind of like disappearing and then I just have my natural kind of tan from just being outside gardening or at the beach or whatever. Um, so I do think that this is a really great match if you do have a little bit of a tan or maybe if you have like um, self tanner that is kind of like not completely fresh, it's a great color. Um, it is really nice. It's not too pink. It's not too yellow. It's just kind of like a nice, um, it's a nice neutral color if you are kind of having a slight bit of tan going on. So what I love about it is the fact that it does look like skin. It's a very kind of natural skin-like finish. So it's very natural looking when you're going outside, when you're inside. It doesn't look like a super cakey or like wow foundation. It just has a really pretty finish and it kind of lets your skin kind of shine through a little bit. So I do like that. I also like the fact that it is quite wrinkle friendly. Um, it doesn't really settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't accentuate, accentuate 
accentuate them so it's not it doesn't just like sit in them and then just make them stand out which I really like because um, you know especially like my my smile lines my forehead sometimes throughout the day you know your foundation will just make them look so bad and um, with this I've noticed that it doesn't do that throughout the day or even when you apply it first off and so I definitely would recommend it for all ages so if you're younger and you want just a little bit of sheer coverage you'll be good if you are a little bit more mature you do have a come you know some delightful wrinkles or fine lines that you're concerned about you'll be fine with this product I feel like if you are oily you would definitely want to set this with a powder um, however if you are kind of like normal combination I still think that you will be okay it's not like an overly greasy um, it sets really quickly so once it does set it feels really nice you can touch it and it doesn't feel like greasy or grimy um, it just has a really nice finish if you are really really dry or really really oily Probably not. I definitely did get a little bit shiny throughout the day. The thing that I don't like about this foundation is that the lasting power is not there. So I would say you can get a good like looking really nice for about four hours. Four to six you're kind of like oh looking a little bit shiny and it's kind of just like it doesn't it doesn't blotch up or go weird or oxidize or anything like that. It just kind of disappears throughout the day. It just kind of feels like um, it just kind of just the coverage is just kind of going. Your blush kind of disappears. So I would say after about six hours, I did notice that it was like, okay, you're not looking so fresh anymore. It's definitely not something that you would want to wear to an all day event. Definitely not a long lasting foundation. Don't get it if that's what you're looking for. This is something that you could probably wear for like, hey, I'm going out for a few hours or I'm going on a date or whatever. And you want your skin to just look real fresh and skin-like and natural. As far as breakouts go, um, I can't say that it made my skin break out. I've used it now for probably about four times and I, I don't, I mean I do have a couple of breakouts but I don't think that's what it was from. Um, so I can't say, normally I'll notice like by the end of the day I'll get a bunch of like acne around here or at least like three or four popping up and I didn't notice that with this so I think you should be good if you are acne prone of course everybody is different but I can't say that it was anything that really triggered any kind of acne popping up so that's good so overall I would say it is a nice foundation I think there's a lot of people out there that would really really love it for me it just isn't quite enough coverage and it doesn't last long enough I like something that I can put on in the morning and I don't have to worry about for basically until I take it off that night so it's just not not, it's just not long wearing enough and it's not just it doesn't give me that flawless look that I really really like um, but it is a very nice foundation would I purchase it again no I would not um, but I would recommend it to those people who maybe have slightly better skin maybe you don't have as much pigmentation or you don't have like acne scarring or anything like that and you're not looking for something that's going to be long lasting I do recommend it though for people with those fine lines and wrinkles ladies because it really does sit very well around like my forehead wrinkles and my smile lines it doesn't do anything magically horrible to them so um, there's my thoughts I hope that that helps I will be applying it in a minute so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like as you're applying so stay tuned for that and um, please give me a thumbs up if you did find this helpful, if you did enjoy it. Okay, so continue on to watch how I apply it and everything like that. Okay, so the color that I have is 60 Sandy Beige. And this is what the bottle looks like. And it does tell you to shake well, so I'm just going to give it a really good shake. It has this like little dropper thing in my bobber. So what I've been doing is just putting that on my hand. It's very, very liquidy. So I just kind of like get the whole entire like thing on my hand and I have found that you do need to use quite a lot of this to get um, at least the coverage that I like so it just kind of depends on the coverage that you want. So I usually start off with about that much and then just use my beauty blender and this is actually a really good test to show you guys because I do have some nice red marks from some pimples that I had earlier this week. So you'll be able to see. So because this is like very liquidy, like that's all gone already. So you do have to use a lot of product, which I find to be kind of annoying because it's kind of, um, it wastes a little bit more time, in my opinion, to have to keep on like getting more product. Um, it might be better if you apply it with your finger. You might not have to use quite as much, but I like using my beauty blender, so if you are someone who likes to use your beauty blender, then you might notice that you do have to use up quite a lot of product. And then for my forehead, I am having to dip in again and get another 
like one kind of swipe of more product. So while you're applying it, um, it actually feels kind of like slippery or almost greasy um, on the skin, like especially when you touch it. Um, at first, it does feel a little bit kind of greasy. It does dry pretty quickly though, so um, you're not going to like feel greasy afterwards. After it sets, then it kind of just goes to kind of like a nice skin-like um, finish. But you can see that's one coat. So for me, um, this just isn't c enough coverage that I prefer. Of course, it's, you know, to each their own. If you like kind of a, a lighter layer, then that's up to you. But because I do have my kind of pigmentation problems right here, um, in real life, I don't know if it's showing, but in real life, like, you can still see them quite a lot right here. You can still see, um, you know, these red marks pretty well. Uh, you can see a little bit of discoloration here, and then a, the forehead isn't actually too bad. It looks decent. Um, but for me, I would like a little bit more coverage, so I'm just going to go and get a little bit more. So it is buildable, but it's definitely not a full coverage foundation. And I'm just going to kind of apply that over the spots where I just want a little bit more coverage. Um, for me though, it never really gives you that super duper flawless, like, like the double wear or... You know, there's just foundations that I feel kind of do a slightly better job of giving you that really flawless, like, perfection look. Okay, so there is kind of, um, I guess two coats over the little areas that, like, I wanted more. Um, for me, I can still see them. They're still kind of peeking through a little bit. I don't know if it's going to come off in the camera, but, um... It's definitely not like that flawless, like, wow, perfect skin. It still looks nice, and it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, it's decent. It's covered most of, this, most of the stuff that I need to. Finish is a very kind of skin-like natural finish. I do like the finish. I think it's really, really pretty. Again, when you're first applying it, it does feel a bit slippery, um, but it does dry and set, and then you don't feel, like, very slippery. Like, when I touch it now, it just feels dry. It's fine. Not dry, but, you know, it doesn't feel, like, slippery or slick or wet or anything like that. Okay, so here is the final result with all of my makeup on so once you have all the rest of your makeup on it does look really nice I mean it's not I'm not saying like oh I don't look like I have flawless skin the skin looks really pretty this is something that I would feel like you know I feel good I could go out I it looks pretty my skin looks nice for the most part I mean I do still have some little mm, but whatever you know it's no big deal so there you go now you can see exactly what it looks like with just alone and then with all of this stuff on top um, I hope you found this helpful. I hope that um, this has kind of made up your mind whether or not to get it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are new, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and my blog, samsherman.com. Hope you guys all have a great week. Bye!